rainy sunshine. Through this evening and overnight, that band of cloud and rain continues to sink southwards, weakening all the time. Clearer skies follow on behind. There'll be some wintry showers down to three or four hundred metres across parts of Scotland. And you can see where we've got the blue in the charts. Temperatures could actually fall away to minus three or minus four. So a frosty start in the north. But as we head through tomorrow, the cold weather sinks southwards as represented by the blues, eventually chasing away the milder yellows through the day because we're all going to be in this northerly wind. So we start with the cloud and some showery outbreaks of rain in the far south first thing. Then a lot of dry weather, fewer showers around. A lot of those will be on windward coasts and it will feel cold in that wind. Temperatures are low for the time of year anyway. Add on the wind chill and it will feel much colder than that. It's going to be a frosty start on Friday, quite a widespread frost, but a lot of dry weather for southern Scotland, England, Wales and Northern Ireland. But we've got some shower outbursts of rain across Scotland. Later in the day that will get into Northern Ireland and we've got more of a westerly wind, but the cold air is already in place, so it still is going to feel quite a cold day. Then as we head from Friday and into the weekend, you can see we've got a ridge of high pressure. Yes, there's a weather front crossing us, but essentially on Sunday, the high pressure will keep weather fronts at bay. So during the course of Saturday, there will be some rain in the north, drier in the south. But it's looking like a decent day for most as we head into Sunday.